What's up with it, everybody? It's your man, Moya B. And Nicole. And we're back at it with some more reaction videos. Baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is another special video request from Mars Blackman. Yeah, Mars. Mars want to check out um, the time Zach Mars broke into a house to record a slumber party. I don't remember the episode. Yeah, I think I'm I sure might. I'll probably will recognize it. I was going to say, it. as soon as I see it, I'm probably going to remember it. Yeah. So, yeah, man. Love say by the Bills, definitely a classic back in the nineties. Zach man. was always up to something kind of. Yeah, he was always too. up to something, man. <laughs> Zach Morris. Yeah. But uh, yeah, man, it's gonna be fun to watch, and thank you, Morris, for I your support. You. <laughs> it's funny. It he's trash. trash. Zach knows a ton of girls will choose him, so he's wearing his third most racist disguise to keep his options open. Dang. Zach Ellie, he's waiting for her invite. Slater says she should pick a real man. Zach scolds Slater for reminding Kelly about free will. Rhonda wants to invite Zach, but instead of politely saying no, he makes her chase him all over his <laughs> school, then catches his breath to say she's nasty. Zach's bribing Lisa with magazines for info on Kelly. Zach has a 50% chance. Not bad. But his impatient, insecure ass wants answers now. He ups the bribery to Bon Jovi tickets that he carries around everywhere for some Fine, reason. Joby. Yeah. It takes the tickets back that. when Lisa's information predictably hasn't changed in the last 10 seconds. Zach's lying about how many girls he's turned down today. Lisa is excited about Jesse's sleepover. Zach hears a room full of girls telling secrets and trust. Trust they can violate with no incentive by telling Zach everything. Jesse explains that's <laughs> an invasion of privacy. Zach's glad she's on the same page. Harry Houdiner delivers Zach a romantic gift from Rhonda. Zach runs away like a rude blonde chicken. Zach and Street <laughs> break into Jesse's house to wiretap her sleepover. Dang, I think I remember that. Thoughts. But Zach tantalizes him with knowledge of his crush Lisa, who he knows full well would never hey, date like Lisa. Zach tells Screech yeah. to do all the work while he plays with a giant doll. Then, when he hears Jesse coming, pushes him out a second story yeah. window to save himself. The gals are talking gal stuff in what they assume to be a secure location. Who will Kelly take to the dance? Zach or Slater? If I had to make my decision right now, I pick Zach. Zach blows his cover, screaming <laughs> like the goober he is, putting the gals on high alert with his blaring next door dumbassery. Jesse yeah. uncovers Zach's illegal bugging of her teenage gathering. Zach, not a smart man, hits Screech and tells him to fix his broken machine. Jesse can't believe Zach's latest crime spree. <laughs> Kelly suggests teaching him a lesson to curtail what will otherwise become a lifetime of home invasions, unlawful surveillance, and other assorted felonies. It's time to play the juicy secrets I do game. This. Zach yeah, says nothing suspicious that. about this clear setup that's louder into the microphone than anything else all night. When right. Kelly likes a guy, she hurts him physically. It starts with a headache. I black out. Then wake up, the police are there, and that poor boy. Zach needs to hear the rest. Any party murder and action, Marshall Screech says Kelly's dangerous. Oh, come on, Screech. She's a girl. Screech informs Zach that girls are humans and capable of doing human things in yeah. human violence. Now, Jesse is using time she should be spending on academics to say ominous words about Kelly. And Slater is neglecting <laughs> wrestling practice to wear a fake cast and tell Zach it was Kelly who put him in this wheelchair last night. Yeah. Zach breaks into Belding's <laughs> office to read Kelly's file. Oh my God. It says she did six months in a mental institute Dang. on this very official looking document that definitely didn't come from the library printer. Kelly ignores class to pass Zach a not so subtle note. My dearest Zach. You can run, but you can't hide. Then, after everyone leaves, <laughs> Kelly intimidates Zach around the room with a bat. Oh no, <laughs> she's got a murder migraine. Zach, in prime <laughs> position to confess his snoopy and offer to help Kelly, does none of that, and instead determines the only way out is to say she should stop liking him because he already has a date to the dance, letting her murderous tendencies be someone else's problem. Zach is pouting through his date with Rhonda like a jerk. Kelly returns his microphone because he never thought to retrieve it this whole time. Yeah, Jesse right. She planted Kelly's file because she knows how Zach's simple, predictable mind works. And since Zach is slower than a broken escalator. Slater explains he was also in on it. Zach bullies Kelly while she's on a date, and so is he, to say she would have taken Zach, you know, if he hadn't illegally recorded her and all. Let's review. Zach Morris tried to make up Kelly's mind for her for a girl's choice dance. Unwilling to wait for her decision, and unable to coerce her friends to stab her in the back, broke into his neighbor's house to run slumber party surveillance, almost killing Screech in the process. And when he exposed yeah. himself by yelling like a total spaz, fell yeah. into a glaringly obvious trap that consumed tons of time these concerned friends should have been spending on school to teach Zach a lesson about honesty that he did not learn as he lied up until the outfits. last possible moment to Purple save his ass and was teal. fine with letting someone else get killed. And he learned nothing about crime, which he is very bad at, or how to treat a woman and respect her right to make a decision. Zach Morris is trash. Zach Morris <laughs> is trash. Trash. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, I do. I do. I remember uh, the episode. Yeah, I do remember that one. It was. It was too At funny. At least the, I remember the part for sure where they were like sitting around the microphone and like making stuff up. I yeah, remember that for sure. But. He was. He was happy. Boy. Ah! <laughs> Actually, they heard that. Yeah, I forgot he lived so close to Jesse. They like next door neighbors. Yeah, I know because we watched another clip recently where there was something similar, and I was like, were they really good friends? So yeah, I forgot. That yeah, they, they were, were neighbors. Yeah. Cause she wasn't, uh, you know, what they did say about the bill college years. I don't think she was in the college mm-hmm. years. I, don't think she was. I didn't watch that very much. I watched either. a little bit of it, but yeah, it, it wasn't good. The high school the normal no, say about the bill. Not at all. And then they had to say about the bill movie. Probably because we were all like grown up by then, and we didn't want to watch that kind of show anymore. But well, they had to say about the bill movie. The movie was pretty good. Oh, I mean, it was cool. Yeah. I don't think I ever. Seen when um, Zach and Kelly got married. Uh, I vaguely remember hearing about it, but I don't think I ever. Yeah, watched we gotta it. watch it then. It's it pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, man, we definitely enjoyed it. This is, this is a great one, man. Yeah, I love these. Zach love Morris these. is trash. <laughs> these visits from the past. <laughs> yeah, so it's, yeah, it's pretty cool. I know. Yeah, man, thanks so much for this yeah, great request. You. And thank you for your support. Oh, uh, yeah, all of your support. It's been amazing. Yeah. But we're about to get into this video. If you want to send us a special video request, check out the links to our stream labs. It's going to be in our description and our video calls. And also keep the videos under 12 minutes and provide your link and email address. And uh, check out our merch. It's in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thumbs it up. Turn on notifications. It's your man, Webby. And Nicole. Want to catch you on the next one. Stay awesome. Peace and love, baby. <laughs>